how our minds can play tricks on us when it comes to making financial decisions, how to overcome common pitfalls and make rational choices. Hello everyone, I'm Richard. I'm a private banker and a senior wealth manager working in a multi-family office here in Hong Kong. Today, we're delving into the fascinating field of behavioral finance. First, let's talk about psychological biases. These are the ingrained mental shortcuts and patterns of thinking that can lead us astray in our financial decision making. One common bias is the herd mentality, where we tend to follow the crowd instead of making independent choices. Another is the loss aversion, where we fear losses more than we value gains. These biases can cloud our judgment and impact our financial well-being. Now, let's explore some strategies for overcoming these biases and making rational financial choices. The first step is awareness. Recognize that these biases exist and understand how they can influence your decisions. By being mindful of your own cognitive biases, you can take a step back and evaluate your choices more objectively. 2. Education Knowledge is power. Educate yourself about personal finance, investment principles, understanding concepts like diversification, risk management, and long-term investing can help you make more informed decisions based on facts rather than emotions. 3. Set clear goals. Setting clear financial goals is essential. Define your short-term and long-term objectives and create a plan to achieve them. Having specific goals can help you stay focused and avoid impulsive decisions driven by emotions. 4. Seek advice and diversify. Consider seeking advice from a trusted financial advisor. They can provide an objective perspective and help you navigate through complex financial decisions. Additionally, diversify your investments to spread your risk. A well-diversified portfolio can help buffer against market fluctuations and reduce the impact of emotional decision-making. Behavioral finance reminds us that our minds can be sometimes trip us up when it comes to money matters. By being aware of our biases, educating ourselves, setting clear goals, and seeking advice, we can make more rational financial choices. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.